One of the senators questioning Judge Kavanaugh this morning is our Senator Maisie Hirono. Um, we're on day two of the confirmation hearing. She joins us now live by phone from Washington. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning, Christine. Thank you so much for taking the time sure. out to talk to us. What are you looking for from Brett Kavanaugh in your questioning? I will be focusing on the patterns, and these patterns in his decision indicate someone who will interpret, for example, environmental protection laws very narrowly and therefore hold for the corporations that are suing uh, to get out from under. Or they, there are huge questions as to whether or not he would be a very uh, sympathetic to a woman's right to choose because uh, there is a major case relating to that that raises so many concerns for us. Um, so he has written more dissents than uh, anybody else on the circuit court. And the reason re dissents are important is that this means that uh, you are not going along with the other members of your d judiciary panel, and you care enough that you're going to write a dissent. That's why people look at dissents as very telling, to really indicate what their thinking is on a particular legal question. Senator, this is Ron Shimabuku. I just wanted to Hi, ask Ron. you about day one yesterday because the White House did not release a lot of the documents and then they released some documents the night before. What was the thinking behind that? Well, I'm sure that they want to either trickle out the documents or dump documents with very little notice so that we will not have time to go through them. This is unprecedented for these documents to not be disclosed to us. And they keep talking about there are so many documents and therefore they can't release them all. Really says who? So the number of pages has no relevance to whether or not we should have access and, and that these documents should be open to the American public. So they're kind of making things up as they go in terms of which documents they feel like disclosing. And by the way, the person who's uh, making a lot of these decisions is a person who is very much associated with uh, Judge uh, Kavanaugh. Senator, we do have a soundbite from Senator Chuck Grassley. We want to play it for you just a little bit and see your reaction. Well, first of all, let's start out with what the facts are. They get the same amount of money as we do to hire the staff to get the job done. My staff got through all of the documents last uh, Tuesday or Wednesday uh, that we had, and then 5.30 till 11 last night to get through the remaining ones that come. So you can't say they don't have time to get through the documents. Uh, if, they, uh, uh, they, if they didn't hire enough help, if they don't want to work weekends, uh, that's not my fault have been working weekends and any common sense person would say that if you dump 40,000 plus pages on somebody uh, the day before uh, that is not a tremendous amount of uh, opportunity to review and I, I would say that's uh, unreasonable and for them to make that kind of argument defies common sense. Now Senator Hirono you did have a chance to meet with Judge Kavanaugh in private but you decided not to. Can you explain why? This was very much uh, on the heels of the uh, president's lawyer uh, pleading guilty to eight felony counts, his campaign, former campaign chair being found guilty of eight counts. And, and under that circumstance, I did not uh, feel that I owed the, the president's nominee a meeting. Whatever Judge Kavanaugh wanted to say to push forth his candidacy, he can do so under oath in a public setting, and that's what's happening now. Now, Senator, even though the Republicans have the majority, you said that some fights are worth fighting for. I mean, you talk about some of the hot topics, Roe v. Wade, gun control, and protecting the president. What do you want the people of Hawaii and everybody to know about this confirmation hearing? How important a single justice on the Supreme Court can be. And this is a nominee that is supported by the Federalist Society that wants to undo Roe v. Wade, supported by the Heritage Foundation that wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. And we're now talking about protections for people with pre existing conditions. So, of late, there have been many five to four decisions of the United States Supreme Court. That means that we have a pretty divided court on some of the major issues that impact all of us. And so, these organizations that are very conservative and right-wing that have been spending decades setting the stage for uh, Judge Gorsuch and uh, Judge Kavanaugh to get on the Supreme Court. They have been working assiduously to get their ideologically conservative people on the court. And why? Because they expect, in this case, Judge Kavanaugh to provide the fifth vote necessary to uh, follow their agenda.
And if you look at Judge Kavanaugh's decisions, I think they put their uh, faith in the right person in terms of somebody who is ideologically very much on their page in terms of advancing their conservative ideological agenda that will be anti-environment, anti-women, anti-LGBTQ2 rights, anti-choice, um, and anti-gun control. All righty. Thank you so much, Hawaii Senator Maisie Hirono, for taking the time to speak with us live sure. by phone this morning. Thank you. Thank Aloha, you. everybody. Aloha.